It is now time for the return of my five Friday football facts. As we look ahead to tomorrow's game against Florida, the Gators come to town on a one-game losing streak in the rivalry, looking for their first win over Kentucky in almost two years. It was around this time last year when Kentucky went down to Gainesville and snapped a 31-game losing streak against the Gators. Tomorrow, the Cats will look to start a win streak of their own at two wins. That's still a streak, folks. We're good, streaky! Yeah. Here are five things to know. Number one, Kentucky will start its backup quarterback. As most of you know, UK's Terry Wilson is out for the season with a torn patellar tendon he suffered in last Saturday's game against Eastern Michigan. Wilson hands the QB1 duties over to Sawyer Smith, a graduate transfer out of Troy, who will be making his first career start for the Wildcats when Florida comes to town. In last Saturday's game, Smith stepped in once Wilson went down and threw for 76 yards and two touchdowns. Here's what Mark Stoops had to say about the unexpected change at quarterback moving forward. Uh, they've, they've had confidence in Sawyer. So, yeah, I think it's important that Sawyer <laughs> goes in there and first pass he throws is a touchdown. That's pretty good. I told him when he came off, uh, that's a pretty good start, one for one. So, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, he's, uh, I think the guys have a lot of confidence in him. Number two. Sawyer Smith is not new to big games or replacing injured quarterbacks. Last year at Troy University, Smith took over seven games into the season when Troy's starting quarterback, Caleb Barker, went down with a knee injury. Smith stepped in and threw for over 1,500 yards and 14 touchdowns in the remaining games, including a win over Buffalo in the Dollar General Bowl. Woo! What a big win. He was named the MVP in that game. Here he is airing it out in that one. Here's the blitz. It's picked up. Smith also saw time in another big game, Troy's upset of Nebraska at Nebraska last season. Watch him show off his legs. Smith keeps, got plenty of room, and he'll gallop across midfield. Sawyer Smith on his horse. Chased down from behind by Aaron Williams. Troy is in business again. And if those clips don't impress you, just know that he has a mustache. And we can trust the QB with a mustache. Number three. Florida will be without two of its best players. Kentucky isn't the only team with a serious injury problem. Florida is expected to be without two of its top playmakers, wide receiver Kadarius Toney and cornerback C.J. Henderson. Toney is a do-it-all player on offense with over 600 all-purpose yards a year ago. He is out with a left shoulder injury. Henderson, on the other hand, is listed as doubtful with a mild ankle sprain. Henderson is the Gators' best player on either side of the ball, offense or defense, and Florida will try to replace his NFL talent in the secondary with some true freshmen. Those are two very huge losses for the Gators. Moving on. Number four, Florida's defense is kind of awesome. Through two games this season, Florida leads all of college football with 15 sacks on the year. Edge rusher Jabari Zuniga, whose nickname is Bear, it's kind of intimidating, is the Gators' top pass rusher with three sacks and 4.5 tackles for loss all by himself. That makes Zuniga one of only four players in the entire country with at least three sacks and four tackles for loss in the first two weeks. Good for you, Bear. But as a team, Florida has 26 tackles for loss, which ranks second nationally. Last year, it took seven games for Florida to reach 26 tackles for a loss. This year, only two. Todd Grantham, the Gators defensive coordinator, must love what he has seen so far, and he will be excited to get after Kentucky's new quarterback through a variety of blitz packages. Look out, Sawyer Smith. Number five, can we take a moment to appreciate the streak being over? For the first time in forever, Kentucky is going into its game against Florida without having that demon on its back. No elephant in the room, no curse from the football gods. There is no losing streak for the team to address or to remind the fans of what happens every year when these two teams get together. This is a new age of Kentucky football, one that doesn't fear the Florida Gators. And tomorrow, Kentucky can take one more big step forward in proving it has arrived as a legit threat in the SEC East. It is going to be a fun one under the lights at Kroger Field. Get out there.